This episode, we're taking a little look at 12 Golden Ducks, starring Sandra Ng. So, we got this one, this was on the Christmas episode, this was one of Shaz's, and I thought this would be a good idea, you know, to cover this one around about Chinese New Year time, because um, I believe it might be a Chinese New Year film, um, it's certainly got a film cast like you always get on Chinese New Year films, and it's yeah. released in February 2015, so... We can only presume that, I'm not 100% sure, but we think it is, and we thought it would be a good one to cover for that anyway. What did you think? I loved it. Yeah? Yeah, I love these films. We have in the past seen... Golden Chicken. Golden Chicken 2. And Golden Chickens. So you could say that we're pretty big Sandra Ng fans. Um, Definitely. We love her. We love her to bits, um, whether it's dramatic or comedy, mm. or even just seeing her on behind the scenes videos. She's just full of charisma, full of character, and uh, yeah, this film reflects that a little bit, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a bit odd mm -hmm. seeing her being a, a sort of male character the whole way through, it. and she, you know, she was playing a male. It's not like she was a woman pretending to be a man. She was meant to be a, a man character, wasn't she? But yeah. you had a slightly different take on it, didn't you? How you said you felt she was portraying the man. Mm -hmm. How women see men, maybe. Is that yeah, what you meant? yeah. I felt like she was poking fun a little bit uh, at men um, and putting it across in her own way. I, f I think like it's just golden ducks instead of golden chickens. I think. Maybe duck is probably the term for gigolo, whereas mm. you know chickens for prostitutes. So I think that's mm. what she's doing this time. Yeah. Yeah. Because the men they were called ducks, weren't they? Yeah. Yes, they were. So it was quite amusing to see a uh, lampooning that sort of character. It felt very much like it was um, like gigolo, which um, you know hopefully you're going to cover sometime. You've got a uh, and to cover that one, haven't you? And um, yeah, Jiggle was a lot of fun, but this felt like it was poking fun at that. In fact, I'm not yeah, sure which one. Thing. I'm not sure which one came first, to be honest. I'm not sure. We're gonna have to look that up. But yeah. um, very similar. And talking of similarities, L Lewis Ku having on his uh, fake muscles as a gym oh, yeah. trainer. Yeah. That reminded me of the Johnny Toe film and Andy Lau running on Palmer. Remember when he played Biggie with that mm -hmm. big muscle suit on? Oh uh, yes. He did that or he did a shit ton of working out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. What did you think of Sandra's suit? Because you get to see her full chest. And by full chest, I mean full male, full self. Yeah, yeah, so it was a bit odd, but it was very well done. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess if you didn't know who Sandra was, you could believe she was you know, a man to look at. Yeah. Wow, well, yeah. The, the way she did because they put the stubble down and everything. Yeah, I, mean, I, I still, very done. I still think Sandra is a very beautiful woman, and mm. um, you know, I, I still don't get the, you know, the, the dig that her, you know, they seem to have. I think she's, you know, she's great. She's got a smile that lights up screen more than anyone. You know? mm. um, other people in this, we uh, have a brief cameo from Chrissy Chow, and uh, we've also got Nicholas Chi. Um, Simon Yam, who, you know, even with a ridiculous her haircut, looks cooler than most of us. <laughs> and um, Anthony Wong. This yes. is another film we watched where he's like spoofing it up. I I love seeing him do it. What do you think? Yeah, I loved him in it. Yeah? He was great. Yeah. He was funny. Yeah. He was a lot of fun, I mean, yeah. there was a, a, a lot of fun scenes in this. And um, I thought it had a like, little endearing side too, you know. I, I know we laughed at this, but I also saw it. Almost like a straight drama at some scenes. Yeah, I think we found the first half of the film 
film was really funny and we were both laughing quite a lot and then the second half it seemed to get a tiny bit more serious mm -hmm. not as many laughs yeah um but it all then comes good at the end yeah i felt and it was really nice the way it finished yeah absolutely i mean it was nice the you know the thing with the old baby and everything yeah it was yeah. making her feel and stuff was good but um i really feel like sandra could have could easily pull off a straight drama as a man, mm. you know? Mm. Yeah. I, I think she's got the acting chops to do it, you know? And uh, yeah, a lot of fun with this film. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. It's it's like I say, New Year Madness, you know? It was bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> we, we love these films, you know, bring yeah. on more. I want, mm. I want another 12 ducks or some more chickens. I don't care which, Sandra, but you know, please get them to us. ASAP. Um, I'm going to score this one 7 out of 10. Lots of fun. Me too. 7 out of 10. Really enjoyed it. So we're on the same wavelength yet again. Right. Okay. The disc itself. This one was Edco. Yeah. So this disc released by Edco. And the inside on the disc you've got Sandra showing off her male torso. And we've got nice couple of images in there too. Some extras on this one? Yeah. Yeah. Have a little look, see what we've got. So there was a teaser trailer, theatrical trailer, making of one, two, and three, which they're always short, but we recommend watching them even if you, you know, got no subtitles, it's still fun because you see what's going on. Yeah. And you know, body language and all that. It's it, it gives a lot away and there's a photo gallery. So yeah, this disc, um, good quality picture, good quality sound, decent subtitles, nothing to complain about, mm -hmm. you know, and reasonably priced as well. And, you know, um, yeah, I think we're gonna give this one three stars. That's a thumbs up from us guys. If you're interested in this title, we will be including a purchase link in the description below. We do hope you enjoyed this review, if you did, then please give us a like. And if you haven't yet, perhaps subscribe to our channel. So, that's all for this episode. We look forward to seeing you guys next time. And remember folks, be true and buy the blue.